Donald Trump's comments about Russia hacking the DNC email system is ruffling feathers. And if it is Russia, which is probably not, nobody knows who it is, but if it is Russia, it's really bad for a different reason, because it shows how little respect they have for our country when they would hack into a major party and get everything. But it would be interesting to see, I, I will tell you this, Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. Charles Krauthammer said the comments were a clever trap that Hillary fell into. Uh, but I do think there was something about his reference to Russia, which whether planned or not is extremely clever. I'm not the first to point out that it set a trap that the Clinton campaign fell right into. In that um, statement that you showed from the Clinton campaign, it said, uh, you know, you're inviting a foreign, a foreign power to, to uh, invade our national security. Now, these are the emails that she deleted because they were supposedly private. These are the ones that were supposedly not work-related. These are the ones where she discusses her yoga lessons and wedding planning. So if that's what really in the 30,000 deleted emails, then there's no national security to be involved at all. So the Clinton campaign ends up admitting that perhaps there really is work-related, if not classified stuff, on the emails which she deleted, which I think would be the grounds for a charge of obstruction. The fact is that it leaves the Clinton campaign in a complete contradiction. If these are just private emails, then there is nothing to be concerned about. There is no espionage. There is no danger to national security. I mean, that they will discover her yoga lesson schedule.